A new report's coming out on Jonathan Kaminga as a lot of fans this offseason have been speculating whether or not Jonathan Kaminga is going to be involved in a blockbuster trade to bring an NBA All-Star to the Bay Area. And then other fans are saying, well, Jonathan Kaminga is eligible for a contract extension, so which one will it be for the future superstar? Well, ESPN's Ramona Shelburne did say that Jonathan Kaminga is not expected to be in any trades for the Golden State Warriors, which is exactly what we're going to break down here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. You got Allie Barefoot here, and I want to tell you guys a little stat just to show you who's watching Warriors Today by Chat Sports. Because we have upwards of 60,000 loyal subscribers here, but I did notice in the last month, 55% of the viewers who are finding our videos, which thank you guys so much for finding our videos and tuning in, but you're not subscribed. And 44% are still very loyal here to Warriors Today by Chad Sports who are subscribed. So if you guys want to be on the right side of this channel, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me. That way you can get everything for free here on this channel. All right, let's break down what Ramona had to say on 95.7 The Game, talking about Jonathan Kaminga on whether or not he's going to be traded. And Ramona said, not at all. I think he's pretty much... Look, it's going to get complicated because of his extension talks and how much money they have, but I think they'll do everything they can to keep him. I mean, I don't think they want to even talk about him. But my question around Jonathan Kaminga since the Warriors' regular season ended is, can you get anybody worthwhile without including Jonathan Kaminga in your trade package? Well, Ramona also answered that question for me. She said, look, they have a pretty good set of assets. There's some other good young players on the team outside of Kaminga. They have draft picks. They have Andrew Wiggins. They have Gary Payton the second whenever he does want to return and be healthy for a full season. They have a lot, a lot of options there. Plus, they have a lot of optionality and decent contracts. And then there's also the blue chip, which is Chris Paul. That contract is very interesting for a lot of teams for a lot of reasons. Now, the Warriors could certainly just keep Chris Paul and take the savings themselves, but that's a great trade asset for a lot of teams. You got to think Chris Paul has a non-guaranteed $30 million coming up next season, and that honestly is not that much for a veteran who's been in the league for 20 years, for a team that's looking for a good point guard, like we saw him coming off the bench, he adds good depth. And for Chris Paul, coming with his name and his skill set, $30 million is about where he should be. Could they also potentially cut him? Yes. Could they trade him and that team cut him as well? Yes, that would be a little shitty, but that is business. But if they don't want to do the Chris Paul route, like Rona said, they have tons of draft picks heading into here. Producer Smitty also made a good point to point out here is that this upcoming draft in 2024, the first round pick going to Portland, excuse me, the first round pick will be going to Portland, but if they do get in the top four, which they have a 3.4% chance of getting into the top four for that draft pick, they will get that first round back, which they also could use like they did, giving it away to Portland. So there is a lot of stock here to include in a trade if they don't want to give away Jonathan Kaminga. But unfortunately, I just think this makes this offseason extremely sticky. Whether it's giving up draft picks, Chris Paul, Andrew Wiggins, or possibly giving away Jonathan Kaminga because I know they say he's not going to be any trade talks. They don't want to give him away. They see what the future could be. But producer Smitty and I are talking right before he made this video, and I'm, I'm saying, you're telling me. If an NBA All-Star wants to come to the Warriors, they're not trading away Jonathan Kaminga? I don't know if I buy it. So I'm going to break that down in just a few moments. But like I said, I want you guys to have the latest on the Golden State Warriors news. Even when we're not in the chat sports office, we're reporting at home. We're going to make sure you constantly have everything, breaking news, latest rumors, latest reports, even if it's a radio interview here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. All you guys have to do is subscribe. And one more thing I got to tell you guys about on Warriors Today by Chat Sports is prize picks. I'm playing this every single game day, and I love it during NBA postseason. Same thing with the NHL postseason. You also got the WNBA starting up on Tuesday, May 14th. I know you guys see a ton of up-and-coming stars in the WNBA. One name in particular is prize picks helping out, and that's Caitlin Clark. If Clark has one point, it equals one win. 
99% off on Caitlin Clark. I'm obviously taking this when I click more or less. I'm taking her to have more. She had the team high in her preseason debut going up against the Dallas Wings over 20 points. Caitlin Clark, if she knows how to do one thing in this world, it's make buckets. So I included her in with the WNBA debut with the NBA postseason. You can mix and match your prize picks all the time. So I've got Clark having more than one point in her WNBA de debut on Tuesday going up against the Connecticut Sun. And I got Derek White having more than 19 and a half points. He's been going nutty in the postseason right now. That's actually a demon pick. So it's a harder pick, but it pays a lot more. I'm taking it all in. Here are my prize picks. You can copy them or you can make your own by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS using that promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Pick more. Pick less. It's that easy to watch yourself win up to 100 times your money with as little as four correct picks. All right, let's talk back in, jump back into trade talks around Jonathan Kaminga because you guys got to remember in February around the NBA trade deadline, they actually did get calls to trade for some pretty good players out there. Alex Caruso being one of those. But those teams wanted Jonathan Kaminga in the trade package. And Mike Dunleavy's like, no, we're not trading away Jonathan Kaminga. So with that being said, they are now heading into their offseason saying the same thing because I do see what they see. You guys know I've been on the Kaminga train since the preseason. Jonathan Kaminga is a dog. I think he can be your secondary scoring option for the Warriors next year, next to Steph Curry, once he starts really working on his perimeter game. And with that being said, J.K. was the youngest player in franchise history to reach 1,000 points in one season. He took a huge stride from 2022 to 2023, and I'm really excited to see the bigger stride he's going to take into 2024-25 NBA regular season because look at what he did in 70 games here for the Warriors, albeit he had to deal with a lot of outside distractions here as well. He had a conversation with Steve Kerr saying, I don't like the playing time I'm getting. I don't like the role that I have. He was starting. He was benched. He was starting. He was benched, and he still continued to produce night in and night out. And I honestly do think that I am expecting an offseason for the Golden State Warriors like the Boston Celtics had last summer. I know you guys remember where they traded away key players in their franchise, like Marcus Smart, who had been there for almost a decade. They ended up trading him away to get players like Chris Stapps Porzingis, traded away Robert Williams to get players like Drew Holiday. I could see the Warriors ultimately trading away Jonathan Kaminga if that means they get a big name to come to the Warriors to help them win in the little amount of time that they have Steph Curry left in the NBA. Because I want to bring up this trade idea. This is a trade that I know they've been looking at Kevin Durant, Giannis Tenacumpo, LeBron James, Paul George. Those are names they have already said they are going to try to get this offseason. So let's say you go on, a, go on ahead and try to get Kevin Durant, bring him back to the Bay Area where you know he has had success. This is what the Suns would receive to match up with Kevin Durant without Jonathan Kaminga. You've got Wiggins, like Ramona Shelburne said. Moses Moody is another package deal. you got Gary Payton the second on defense. Kevon Looney, who's worth $8 million. And then you got to give him about three first-round draft picks, let's just say 20, 25, 26, and 27. There is no way in hell the Phoenix Suns are giving up Kevin Durant for this group of people who I do not think would push the needle for the Phoenix Suns to make it any farther than they did this past season. The only thing that I do think would be a little bit intriguing to the Suns is those three first-round picks. I don't see the Suns accepting that without Jonathan Kaminga. Every other team in the league sees what the Warriors see right now, and that is a rising star in Kaminga. He is going to be dominant in his NBA career down low, hopefully around the perimeter if he starts to work on that, and especially in the mid-range on offense and on defense, he is a double threat. But I just don't know if I agree with the Warriors saying they're not going to trade Jonathan Kaminga away because if they get a call that a big-time player wants to come, I think Jonathan Kaminga will unfortunately have to leave the Warriors. I hope he doesn't. I really hope he doesn't. And I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think Golden State Warriors would trade Kaminga for an NBA All-Star? Type T for trade, type K for keep. I say T for trade. I just think it's a business. 
Do I want them to trade away Jonathan Kaminga? Absolutely not. You guys know I have been on the JK train for an entire season. He is, I could say, the future of the Warriors once that big three is gone. But if they want to win right now, I don't think they can get anybody to help without including Kaminga. So with that being said, if anything does happen in this offseason, we will have it right here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. All you guys have to do is go on ahead and subscribe.